Hey hens, how we all diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? I'm blonde, it's the temporary thing, it's a temporary thing. I've I suffered with an itchy scalp and the shampoo that I've used has like stripped all of my hair colour. So, But you know what? I feel like I'm living my cottage car dreams right now. I've got my coffee, I've got my man. I love that the voice changes when you talk to him. That was very slow, but it was because my finger stuck against the cup. Okay, I'm not just stroking him slowly yet. Ugh. <laughs> I've run out of my um, usual coffee syrup. I saw. <laughs> it's a bit bitter. It's a bit bitter. Just like me, babe. Just like me. You know what, babe? Be bitter, not better. That's my life motto, isn't it, love? Right, today, I'm actually very, very excited for this. I've already done a mod overview by this creator before, so I'm very excited to do this one as well. I always say, mentally or out loud, I'm not, I'm not sure if I've ever said it out loud before, but I must have done with all my bitching that, that I do, because <laughs> some people brand me as that girl who hates The Sims 4 but won't stop playing it, and I'm just like... <laughs> I cannot find the lie. I love it, that's why I'm so critical of it, because I know I know what it can be. I always say that teens and teenagers, childhood, toddlerhood. 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 Childhood teenhood. Anyway, that category, that realm of age, right? From a child, she's a bairn, to a teenager who thinks that she's too big for a boot and knows everything. Those life states in The Sims 4 are shite because they've got no real repercussion, not even repercussions. They don't have the substance to have repercussions. Like for your child sim in The Sims 3, you could go to after school clubs, which we do have in The Sims 4, but not as much. You could go to the play park, where in The Sims 4, it's, it's like a weird setup. So it's like, when my child's out, of the house. I'm like, who allowed you to be out, honey? Where it's a different experience in The Sims 3 because it's open, you can just bippity bop deep. Why am I holding the crucifix? They had proms for teenagers. Like I actually felt like I could really customize my teenagers' personalities. And you can't do that so much in The Sims 4, which makes me a bit sad, loves. It does. I need to, I need to fucking train myself out with doing this posh accent because it's not me and it'll never be me, love. Up the fucking north. The North remembers. Today we're gonna to be playing with the Teen Lifestyle Game Pack mod by Snowy95. I've already done a cover of their Harry Potter mod, which I absolutely big fat loved. So let me pull my green screen up. Oh, fucking hell, it's all the way over there. This would be much easier if I was to just bend over, but I'm never bending over on the internet for free. There we go. Right, okay, so this is it. It's on Patreon. Ja this is what I mean, like, where is this chat? Do you have a home? Do you carry a lunchbox? So, we've got four new aspirations, one new trait lot, and new social interactions. Two new careers, and eight new traits. The Sims folk could never, darling. The Sims folk could never. I'm not retiring the posh accent when it's to enunciate things, right? A posh accent gives you privilege. I said it, I said it. Oh my God, spoilt brat, prankster. Oh, it has to be prompted. it. Oh, oh. I love it. The new aspirations are inspiring athlete, emo soul, bitch me to the fuck, heartbreaker, spoilt brat. The two new, two new careers are tutor and cheerleader. Trait lot is mean girls trait lot. Ooh, interesting. And then the new traits are band nerd, bully, emo, heartbreaker, innocent jock nerd, prankster. That sounds like a wish description, doesn't it? <laughs> band nerd, bully, emo, heartbreaker, innocent jock nerd, prankster. Every single trait has brand new social interactions. I love to see it. I love to see it. This mod is fully base game. The bus from the traits at the moment are permanent, trying to fix that. Is the only bug I found from testing the mod. The mod has script files, so do not put deep into your mods file. Right, that is installed. I hope I don't have anything that like, I'll counteract with it. I should hope not. I don't even know if I'm playing. Oh God, sorry, that's my, this is my editing portfolio. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I look a bit bald there, don't I? It just looks like I've got like a bald head. She bald. Oh, do I have custom content actually? Hey, hey. Oh, I think it's all, I think it's all just, it, it, it's all in the build mode, sister. It's all in the build, sister. <laughs> I'm gonna make a new game. Basically, I am gonna live out my Sims 2 music video dreams because th there was a world before The Sims 4, even The Sims 3, right? There was a world and people could upload written stories to the gallery and it was basically like fan fiction, but with pictures but it wasn't fan fiction. It was kind of fan fiction. There was this one story called 21, right? About this emo little vampire man. Seth Gates, I love you. I've always tried to find that story and I can't find it all these years after. So if anybody is a Sims OG and knows that story and has got it, please say that you know it or please link it in the comments down below. Thank you, love. Basically, there was so many emo stories there and that's, 
That's what I'm trying to be today. So I'm going to recreate my emo life in The Sims 4. I'm just going to get my... <gasps> oh, should I make me and Sephos Gates? Me being thirsty on main? It will always be me, darling. It will always be me. Right, there I am, Sim Cell. I'm going to be near Kadana. Well, I'm bald there and, and on screen right now. Please tell me I have at least one piece of custom... Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Girl, you have fucked up again. I do have custom content clothes, though. Not that one. There we go. Right, that's fine. That's me. That's me, Jessie McPlummy. I'm excited, loves. I'm fucking excited. Do I go for aspiring athlete? Because I am hypothetically a jock, you know. He must, nah, meh, meh, without a shadow of a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. I can never find, they don't never show up in my game. I can't find them. Is it a me issue? I am back. I have found the issue. It wasn't the mod at all. It was me because I set myself to a young adult. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsies, love. Then here, look, emo. I do, I do see myself as a little bit of a prankster, you know. But I think I'm a nerd. Like, I'm fine with the fact that I'm a nerd. I know that I am. Oh, can I just go up in the gallery, right? Emo teen. That kind of looks like him. Sethos Gates, we are reunited, my loves. I'll give him heartbreaker. I know my Sethos has never do that to me, but, like, I want to actually, like, have fun with the traits, you know. Right, we've got the heartbreaker and, hmm, bully. He's a vampire, Rini, right? I then I'm justifying my actions because he, he bites people's necks. He bullies, he bullies people into biting, you know? You can't bite for free. Next, cheerleader. Why have some people's got? What's happening here? Oh, it's a spark challenge. I've been there, done that, got booted off. <laughs> I'm off. This girl will do. Maddie Backer. Oh, she's stunning, isn't she? Amazes me how people can create sims. Ooh. Oh, I knew there was a reason I had my crucifix for something. I did say I wasn't going to buy the pack, by the way, but my niece, she loves Star Wars and she's 10 year old and I'm not about to say no to her. And she wanted it, so I'm not happy about it, but I had to do it. She can be an inspiring athlete. Innocent. Do we have a cheerleading trait? Hang on. It's, it's, a, it's an odd reality when there's too many traits that I can't remember what they are. I think she'd be best off as a jock. And I might actually change Sethos to... Because he's already a heartbreaker, isn't he? So he's going to be a bully in a band. <laughs> Surely not. Surely not. How fucking he can be. I, I, this last one's a wild card. I'm only doing four people. Kayla Sims, come on in, honey. You're coming in. I'm going to have to change the name of Kayla, right? From Kayla. Teresa England. That's why I can't have this as Kayla. Because I can't have this as Kayla Sims, the spoilt brat. Not doing it. Sorry, that's not Kayla. She's going to be a heartbreaker. Heartbreaker and prankster. Right, there we go. Right, first and foremost, the part-time career, which I'm actually very, very, very big, fat excited for. Where for art though? Find a job. Cheerleading. Get ready for cool teamwork and put up a show. Cheerleading is the perfect extracurricular activity for those sporty teens. We've got to get to level two fitness skill. Can I just... Uja, what is this behavior? I need to just look over me mods before we do anything like this. Right, so we also have new interactions as well. Where is Sethos Gates? I would like to ask him to be my... Prom date. Just got a warm up. Okay, Kayla, get the fuck away from my man, thank you. Oh, he doesn't like football. That's okay. That's okay. Me neither. Mention the losers club. <laughs> Mine is pretty much all about being a gaming loser, which is not that far removed from my actual life. You're not alone. Then about emotional meltdown. <laughs> Me. Well, I had a dream last night that, you know what, I'm very, I'm relating to this similar. I had a dream last night that I got kidnapped by a man and then he had an odd relationship with his mother. I'm not saying that's all serial killers, but I'm saying it could be. He had like this ornament that is my mad and he cherished it and I fucking smashed it. But we developed a sense of trust at that point. Like, is it Stockholm Syndrome? We developed that. So we were actually, we were, we were pals, you know, he had nicked me, but we were pals. And then because I'd broke that, he was so distracted, he'd forgot to leave the door locked and I fucking ran. And I was going, mom, mom, I've been and then I woke up to a phone call off my mum, so that was my mum saving me. And then she told me that my sister had corona, so I don't know if my mother's a blessing or a curse. But anyway, right, I like all them interactions. Talk about band concert. Is he the musical one? Band nerd, yeah. Reveal crush. I'm a musician. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at us. I want I want the option to ask to prom. 
Right, well, you know what? I, apparently, I'm just not up for it. I'm not open to it. Right, well, you know what? We're not going to prom together. Fuck it. I'm not doing... Oh, Michaela is, is over here talking to herself. Flirting around from heartbreaker trade. Having one potential lover is not enough for these sims. I want to see my book. Passionate from debug cheat. You cheat to get the smooth look. That I did, bitch. You're feeling sad from gloomy trait. Lonely nature. Emo teens just want to be left alone. Oh, by being focused, your skills will go up faster. Oh, so that's because I'm I'm a nerd. Oh, right. Shop that fucking cooking channel on there the see they can be prom date oh is it because she's the heartbreaker oh that would make sense i'm gonna ask everybody to be the prom date <gasps> I'd like to see a prank being played. Oh, fantasy land from Innocent Trait. These sims are clueless to the reality of the world. <laughs> and thieves about cute boys. Oh, basically me this entire video, love. Talk about stuffed animals. That's me telling everyone about my Harry Potter collection. How do I associate myself with any and all sims in this room? Not even in this room, in this house. Especially that one talking to herself over there. <laughs> I want to see if I'm actually playing with these. Oh, wait, no, that's not me. Sorry. Off my Xbox, please. Thank you. Oh, we've got Ash. Uh, Ash. We've got aspirations too. Reach level two mischief skill. Achieve level two of guitar or violin skill. Paint for five hours. Earn a silver rating on the dinner party social event. Have a boyfriend or girlfriend. Work out at a gym venue. Own two pieces of workout equipment. Oh, I love this, you know. I completely forgot that there was aspirations, but that's just so... It feels like it's so well-rounded. I just love to see it. I love to see it. Oh, let me read the other ones. Reach level three, four. Gold rating on 15 pieces of art. On two bar stools, reach level two mixology skill. Reach level four fitness skill workout for eight hours. Max fitness skill at level 10. See, I kind of like these ones, right? Because I, I know it seems quite simple. One thing that I liked about previous games is that you'd kind of spend you'd, being a kid and being a teenager to build your skills up over time, then be able to do something as an adult, you know? And I like that this encourages you to do that. Like, it's only simple, but they don't have to be as complex as, like, C Captain James Cook. He's from Middlesbrough. But you know what I mean? Like, they're actually benefiting your game. Right, I'm just going to fast forward until it's time for... What's the name? Maddie Backer to go to cheerleading. I have returned, and I've also made a grave mistake. <laughs> Turns out cheerleading's only on the weekends. Who knew, loves? Who knew? But I thought because they've been at school and everything today, I wanted to show you the traits that they have. So they've got the traits from like, oh, wait, no, being the best from the jog trait. These sims always want to focus on their physical skills to be the best. Exciting school day, but that's just, I think that one just comes with the game. Fantasyland and Flirty from Debug Cheat. And then Kayla, I need to stop calling her Kayla because it's just the hair. Style honestly loves. Sad from debug cheat. Sneaky vibes from pranks of traits. Sneaky sims are really mischievous. And flirting around from the heartbreaker one. I'm having a whale of a time. I'm focused from the nerd trait. I'm happy. And I, I once again have my lonely nature. But Sethos over here is not okay because of the mood swing. He's also angry because he's targeting the weaker one. Bullies always focus on the weaker target. And artistic presence from band nerd trait. I love it. I love to see it. That is is everything that I have for you today. I really enjoyed playing with this mod and honestly I have a video edit after this one. I'll, all I kind of want to do is is play The Sims 4 which is, it's a concept of course. I have a really strong urge to play with The Sims 4 now and it's because of mods like this and also with the new pack coming out and the lifestyles and sentiments part of the pack. I'm just, I'm just very excited to be honest with you loves. It's a good time. I'm excited. So the link and everything for this will be in the description as well. It's on Patreon, but you don't have to pay if you would like the mod. But, you know, you can always support mod creators if you want to. If you, you know, it's your money, loves. It's your money. But yeah, thank you all very, very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one when I have pink hair. Okay, bye.